Hello and welcome to What Feels Like Star Wars in Quarantine, Episode 3. It might even be Episode 4. I'm not sure that's how long I've been cooped up. Um, today we're talking about Star Wars The Clone Wars, Season 7, Episode 8, Together Again. Finally, we are wrapping up the side story or backstory of Ahsoka and how she got into the Siege of Mandalore. Thank goodness this is over. I was tired. Like, this storyline seriously could have been two episodes. I feel like if this was season four or five, it would have been only two episodes. There's a lot of filler here, a lot of side stuff that we didn't really need. Basically, this accomplishes two things. It shows Ahsoka learning about Maul, and it shows us what Ahsoka's been up to since she's left the Order and gets her to the Siege of Mandalore. That's about it. I feel like um, the, Marte, I, the Martez sisters are just kind of thrown away and we're never going to see them again. This episode is what it was, what it is. It, it's a lead-in into next week, which should be the Siege of Mandalore. Um, I know they have a list of what episodes are coming out when. I just don't remember what they are. And this one actually went by pretty quickly. It didn't feel like 22 minutes. So in that aspect, it was good. Um, I'm just more happy that they ended the story. There was a little bit of action, mostly character development, but I'm just glad that it's done. Um, so yeah, hopefully next week, episode nine, um, brings in all the things that I like and I start to like it like I did with the Bad Batch story. So maybe really what I'm trying to say is this series should be more about the clones than about the Jedi or Ahsoka. See how I feel about that next week. Now, when I started this video in particular I made a light joke about quarantine being in quarantine it really isn't we're just trying to do our part to help the world heal and I know from personal experience that sometimes it's not easy it's it's rough and there's always something that you can do like I know this comes off poor, and I want you to know that it comes from a place of well intention, because this is usually the place where I say, hey, if you like what I do, follow me here, follow me there. I know from personal experience that in times like this, all you really need is someone to talk to. We, we go through and we talk about Star Wars, we talk about Assassin's Creed, and we talk about movies. I'm excited to see Trolls World Tour for Pete's sake. And sometimes we just need something to take our mind off of what is going on in the world. I am a firm believer that even with what's going on, that talking to someone can save a life. And if there is ever any time that you need to talk to someone, I, I, I beg you, please reach out, talk to somebody. It doesn't have to be me. It doesn't have to be the people that you're living with. Just please reach out talk to someone because even if you don't see it you matter to someone uh, with that being said I I do hope that you have enjoyed your little snippet of your day with me and until next time have a great night